ladies and gentlemen, um, I did notice there's another bottle in there. And, and now for been, something completely different. She's been hiding this one, right? So uh, come on, what we got? Gin King. And there's a story behind it. <laughs> the origins. One glorious evening in the great city of London, the formidable Dr. Hillary was dining with master winemaker Lord Warren Chuck of Warrenford. A discussion ensued on the aromatic perfection of London dry gin, the admirable qualities of wine grown in England, and the refreshing properties of spring water. Lamenting the lack of such a beverage containing all three, Dr. Hillary challenged her companion to create such a drink, and Gin King was born. There you go, folks. You hit it here first. So um, yeah, this is a fairly new product. Yeah. But it taps into you know the fact that people want cleaner water. Yeah. And they're all about filtered water and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, craft gin. Yeah. And English wine. Oh, it's absolutely. On and point. it's low alcohol. I, I, you it's cannot... eight point five percent alcohol. Wow. Okay. And it's it's lightly sparkling, so we can right. actually enjoy oh, it in our sparkling glasses. Go back glasses. to the flutes. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. Lovely. And right now, um, it's available in Fortnum and Masons, uh, in Vinoteca, in various bars, and it's about twelve pounds ninety nine to about fourteen pounds. And you can enjoy it just by itself, or serve it over ice with an orange peel. Apparently, I can see that. You can smell I the really botanicals. Can see I mean, that. aren't yeah, you yeah, picking yeah. up that star anise? We've apparently yeah. got star anise, cardamom, juniper, and pink berry in here. I could definitely see that going as kind of like a cocktail kind of thing. Yeah. I really can. That's, uh, I can't describe how much that is exactly what it says on the tin. That is, <laughs> that is gin and English fizz in that glass. Um, don't mix your own at home. Don't do it. All right. I'm just letting you know. Okay. It'll be a much more than eight and a half percent. So. Gosh, that's really refreshing because sometimes people can find botanicals in gin. I hate coriander and sometimes I really find it a bit too pervasive. Whereas this, I, I really think the wine, the spring water, it kind of freshens it up. And also you do more of the star anise and exotic fruit thing going on. And going back to what you were saying earlier, actually about the kind of like over rice with a bit of orange peel. Or yeah. something like, you can really get that citrus peel. That is, uh, actually that's a lot better than I thought that was going to be. I'm actually quite happy with that. So really, really, really cool. Too. Thank you very much for bringing that along actually. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for them. It's just started selling at pubs and bars and <gasps> Wasn't in the script. <laughs>